Hey guys, welcome back. This is the first in a series of lost episodes from 2021. So do you ever wonder when you drive across Wren Lake on a nice early winter day on Highway 154, you see like 200 boats lined up around the bridges? Well, crappie, that's why. With summer waning, I thought it would be a good time to share with you how I catch crappie around the bridges in the fall and early winter. Many of you guys have figured this out, but in the event you haven't, this is for you. Shad get concentrated around these bridges as the water gets colder and the crappie hang out to feed up for the winter. The colder the water, the better the jig bite gets. The best time to get in on this bite is from mid-October until the lake ice is up. I might take a little heat from my guide friends for sharing this info, but they'll get over it. My approach is typically dead sticking a jig or jigs. I use a combination of getting jiggy jigs and brush pile jigs on one or more rods. My preferred colors are the Grenada Gold and Gray Ghost in the getting, getting jiggy jigs. And for the brush pile plastics, the Pink Flamingo and Wyatt's Blue Magic colors are my go-to. Doesn't really matter what body style for those, but I like the Chubbs and Diver styles personally. A sensitive jigging rod with a good high-vis line, and I prefer braid for the sensitivity, is a plus for this application. This video was filmed in early November, and I picked up some minnows as well. I set up a rod or two with a double minnow rig and a drop shot set up, and also had one of my rods set up with my trusty getting jiggy jig grenada gold tied on. Note I'm not targeting any specific structure or fish with the live scope. I'm dropping my bait to the bottom, reeling it up one turn, and holding it really still and waiting for a bite. I'm doing the same with the drop shot set up and just setting them in my Millennium Rack. Granted, you'll catch a ton of dinks at the bridges. You just have to wade through them to find some eating sized fish. The only thing I really do with the electronics in this application is verify there are schools of bait present. If there isn't, I move on. But really, the key to it all is keeping the bait as close as you can to the bottom. Can't stress that enough. So that's pretty much it. Nothing fancy. You'll find an occasional bigger fish here, but if you're looking for trophies, you may want to fish elsewhere in the lake. This is not the only thing I do at Wren, but it is, it is reliable when the bit bite may be a little slow in other parts of the lake. Tight lines, everybody.
So that's going to do it for this episode. But make sure you check out the all new My724Outdoors.com page. Hit up the forums and post your adventures. It's great stuff. Also, check out my socials at Panfish Guy on Facebook, Daniel Palmer5623 on Instagram, at PanfishG on Twitter, or my webpage at PanfishGuy.com. Log on and grab some swag for your favorite fisherman. If you like this video, please like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Rub a little fish slime on that notification bell so you'll be notified when I infrequently post a video. Hey, knock it off.